Hello everybody. Today I'm sharing with you some beautiful rub-on transfers that I've received from Tapeology. Um, they asked me if I'd like to um, receive some and play with them and see what I could come up with and I said oh yes please. I thoroughly enjoyed the last lot of rub-ons that I received from them and I'll put a link in the description box below and on a video showing how I used those. Uh, but these are their new ones and I believe this is a set of six and they're called upsized. They're a larger flower than the last ones they had available. It comes with a piece of fabric and I did use fabric on my last video. Um, it's like a calico or muslin fabric, beautifully packaged as always and it's a good size piece of fabric that you receive. So it's probably a quarter of a meter or something like that. Anyway, it's it's a good size for crafting and for what it's for. Let's have a look at these beautiful rub-ons, shall we? I haven't opened it yet, so I don't know what they look like. Of course, you receive a stick to help you rub the transfers on. And so here we go. Aren't they pretty? Very pretty colours, really nice and a beautiful size, ideal for journaling because they work well on paper as well as the fabric but they also work on other things and that's what I'm going to be playing around with today. So that's the first one, then you've got a darker colour, aren't they lovely? Anybody who loves botanical things will love these, oh how pretty! Oh my goodness, they're beautiful, aren't they? And you still get a few small ones. You get small flowers and some little butterflies and things in there. But I like the scale of the larger ones as well. And there's one in blue. So we have different colours. I'll just do that so we can keep our eye on the colours. The blue is lovely, isn't it? And then we have more autumnal tones, oranges and yellows. And then the lovely white tones as well. Really, really nice. Very, very nice. So as I said, you get six sheets in the floral pack. And then in the animals, I believe they're called, um, this one's butterflies, but I do I do think they have other animal packs available as well. And this one is a set of three sheets. And so we've got the beautiful blue butterfly wings. And you know, there's no body to them, so you can do what you want to make the body and just use them as wings or turn them into butterflies. Oh, that one is. Okay, so this one has complete butterflies on it and it also has some lovely birds. Oh, look at that one. So that's rather wonderful, isn't it? That's that one. That one in the more neutral tones. And then the blue wings. So I'll bring it up close. See how there's no body part, so you can make your own or even draw your own on. Um, and you would be able to space them as far apart as you want. Wow, that's interesting actually. Um, okay, so I've got some items to the side here that I thought might be interesting to see how they work. So let's start off with a pair of wings and see how these work on other surfaces besides fabric and paper. So I'm just going to pop those to one side and let's decide. I pulled out a little bottle of glitter that somebody sent me years ago it was just in my curio cabinet and I thought 
that might be nice with a pair you know actually I was thinking butterfly but because it's got wings maybe I can use a pair of wings on here like this they're darker so they might stand out a little bit more against that glitter so let's just go and cut this one out a nice sharp pair of scissors and if you look close enough you can see just a little border around the image so you don't want to be cutting any closer to an image than that border is so I want to go in here and get this little pair of wings here like that and that's all you do you just get your little image that you want and so I would want it probably about there what made me grab this was a lot of people like to use these little glass vials to make charms out of to hang from their journals and things like that and how nice would it be to use these little rub-ons on the little um little glass vials so you take off the backing sheet the fingers there we go okay now normally it would make sure you had a hard surface behind you but this is a hard surface so I don't have to think too much about that this is a little bit sticky which is helpful the back of it so it will help line it up so I'm just going to go put it about Oop. okay once you've got it on be careful okay so I'm just going to press down a bit to get it to hold its position like that and it's only small so well, this is a good example to see how they work isn't it and then I'm just going to firmly rub as you rub you can see the image get pale which means it's starting to stick to the actual glass I might just put it down there make it a bit easier on myself of course always being very careful with glass because you don't want it to break underneath of you while you're doing it you kind of see the image start to get lighter as it starts to stick and this is also a curved surface so it's a very good way of demonstrating as long as it works of course Okay, see how it lifted up itself? That means it's actually, there's a little bit there that's still in the center. A little bit there, right on the edge. Okay, so that's our first attempt at using the transfer rub-ons. And that is onto glass. Um, I did actually just clip the corner of that one, but because it's got the glitter behind it, I can't even see it. But for my first attempt on glass, I, you know, it's okay. It's okay. All right, the second thing I pulled out were some number game pieces. And I think Louisa sent me these. Yes, Louisa sent me these quite a long time ago. Um, fun little items, aren't they? So maybe, what numbers do we have here? Okay. 
Maybe we'll choose number one and we'll try that one. There's two. That's how I keep track of things I receive from other people. I just I pop their name in the packet. That way I, I can say who they're from if they've been gifted to me at some stage. That was several years ago now, but it's still always nice to say thank you for things even after all that time. Okay, so let's have a look at these ones. Now these ones, we could use a bigger set of wings. Actually, I'm making a journal at the moment. Um, I don't know if, but it depends what fits on here, doesn't it? I'm looking at all the styles. And the other ones are birds. I might be better off with a flower on here, to be honest. Let's have a look. It's a, a neutral kind of journal, so we'll go for the neutral colours. Oh, aren't they pretty? Let's see. What's going to fit on here? I might just fit this one on. This one here. Although that one could be used as well. I'll just cut the tail off like that. So we can put, um, might need the, just trying to think, like that, it'll probably cut the top part off as well, just under there, and that's okay, yeah, just so it fits on there like that, so let's give this one a try and hopefully it will all stick okay so getting it nice and central and I don't I'm not quite sure these are like you know they're very hard whatever they are Try and rub them evenly all over and especially the end edge the end bits sorry and you do get the idea that there's it's starting to lift off so let's but always do it slowly let's see We'll do that together. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Give it a gentle press. Now, did I mention that these, although they're water resistant, they're not waterproof. So you wouldn't put them on a, a, a glass, like a tumbler, um, that would need washing all the time. But, you know, once it's cured on there for a couple of days, you could wipe that over to keep it clean. Isn't that pretty? That's really pretty. I do like that. I will have to repaint the number for what I want to use it for, I, th I think. That's lovely. I want to do another one of those. Let's find another small one. This one here, I think I said, didn't I? Although I don't need this one to be neutral, it can be a colour. So let's have a look for a pretty colour. What's the next colour? I think I'm doing just a colourful, colourful one next time. So it can be um, anything really. That's pretty. And there. And there's that one, I think. This little one here. It's really nice.
press it down. It is so pretty, isn't it? I perhaps should have used that one, then I wouldn't have had to have painted it on here, but that's okay. I will work something out. That is such a pretty picture. So that works wonderfully on those. What else have I got over here? Um, I did pull out some dominoes as well. I'm going to do it on this side and put a bigger one on there. Okay, another colour, a different colour. Uh, let's decide what we want to put on there. There's a beautiful blue butterfly here. I think I might use that. Or I can use a couple of little ones. Or there's a flying one there. Uh, I want to make sure it fits on. That yes. I actually I really like the big one. Okay, so first of all, give it a, a wipe over, make sure there's nothing make sure it's nice and clean. And dry it. Oh even the back goes with it. That's good, isn't it? Okay. Oh. There we go. Okay. Now I want it. I've got to make sure it's going to wrap around a bit, and I'm okay with that. I just need to make sure I put it on evenly. So I'm going to kind of cut the bottom so I can gauge that it's even. Like that. Okay. Let's take that off. Because there is a slight stickiness to the back. And if it's it might stick to your fingers, it might pull the image. Or if you lay it down and then it's crooked and you pull it back up, it might start sticking. So you've got to keep that in mind. So I'm lining this this is fairly straight at the top here. Could be a bit better. Hang on. That's better lining that up and the bottom up and then widthwise before I place it down and then once I place it I gotta kind of stick with it like that so I'm just giving it a little rub around and we'll do oh, what's that oh, good start in the center and these are like a ceramic domino And then I'm going to have to wrap it around and do the side as well. Wow. That one was happy. Oh, hang on, just a little bit down the bottom here. That's it, got it. Got it. Now we'll do the same for this. I'm just creasing it around. And then I've got to hold it. And I will. Oh, it's releasing itself which is good, but I still want to make sure it's stuck and I'm a little bit in that corner I don't want to lose any bits okay, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Yep, just 
wraps around. Now let's have a look, make sure the centre, a little bit down here. There. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? Oh, that's nice, and I'll have to put a little um, something there so I can hang it, and that can go as a charm on the outside of my journal. You could almost put another little one in there as well. I don't know, I'll have a look, see what that looks like. Might look nice. Just a little one there. Yes, yes, I like that. That's pretty. Oh, nice, okay. What else have we got here? Okay, we have I'll put those ones over there. I've got oh I found a wooden letter that was sent to me a long time ago as well, the letter B, obviously. I've got a couple of wooden tags that could have something on the back of back of it excuse me or or just a little tiny um, butterfly could go on there let's see what colors we've got of the tiny little butterflies here oh there's a little dragonfly look at that okay that is going to go on rather sweet isn't it and I think it will go with the wood very nicely and I think it will fit quite nicely there oh and now we have our little dragonfly here how are we going to put this on I'm going to make sure it fits okay Once again, just right at the end there, just bending it over on both sides, just to make sure it sticks. There we go. A sweet little dragonfly on that one. Right, okay. Now, I could decorate this with some. See, look, there's a big poppy there that could probably perfectly fit on that side of that. Because, of course, B is for my surname. This is already like it's got a, a finish on it, so it's okay. I think the you know, you can't use this on silicon, obviously. So I could use that on there. Um, Seeing what it works on more than anything. Okay. Here we go. 
works on wood very nicely, doesn't it? Okay. Could have done with that little red butterfly over here or something. But that's okay, is it? It's okay. Now oh, there's this one. They don't have bodies. Oh, I know what I could do. I know what I could do. Look at this. Oh, look at that sweet little flower. These are really nice. I like the size of them. You know, I was, I thought I had some acrylic tags. And I thought they would be great to put on acrylic tags. I can't find my acrylic tags, so... So I can't try that. And another thing is, you know how people have the clear dividers in their journals or as a dashboard? Perfect for that sort of thing as well. So what I thought I might do is maybe just decorate this a little bit more. Like that. I'm going to actually cut the rub on in half so that will go there like that and I don't <laughs> Um, I don't know what this is going to look like. Well, I'm just playing with this one. This is only going to stay with me, but it's nice to know what they can and can't do, isn't it? Like that could go there like that. Let's have a look. <laughs> Gotta make sure you get it where you want it because they do stick. Do this one as well. Now this time I don't want it curling around, so I'm just going to cut that off. And cut that off like that. And remove it from my scissors before I get <laughs> the decal stuck to my scissors. Oh my. Right, okay. Now this one.
Okay. Well, that's quite pretty, isn't it? Okay. I could even use that on the front of a personal journal of my own if I wanted to. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Unless I put a bird on it as well. And it's okay to cut things out to have a look. Because, I mean, even if you don't use them, you just put them back in the packet for another time. How about that? I could have a little bird there. Like that. Will he fit? No, I don't think he will. Not properly, anyway. I'm going to leave it. I think it looks pretty the way it is. Okay, I'm going to leave it. So there we go. Um, we've used it on wood. We've used it on tile. We've used it on ceramic tile. And I've used it on glass. No, I had a button here that I wanted to try it on. I grabbed a couple of buttons as well. So let's find a couple of little things to try for the button, like obvious little soft blues, like that button. That might go on there. Let's see if it works on a button. And these are just plastic buttons. <laughs> always make sure you know don't try not to hit the surface unless you know you're lined up properly because like I said the edges can be a bit sticky behind them and they stick before you know it and then you know if you've got it in the wrong place that's not good Yeah. There we go. And that's on a button as well. It's a bit hard to see because the button is so shiny. There we go. <laughs> it's a vintage button, that one. Oh, that one's pretty, isn't it? So there's that one. Um, one more, and then I think that's it. I think we'll need something pretty on that one. And we have a little butterfly on that one. So, I just want to press it down a little bit, because, yeah, I think I got it. Sometimes it's a bit hard when you're filming because you can't get your head right over the project because it would be in the way of the camera. Um, so I just, I do the best I can. But there we go. Two lovely little buttons, a glass vial, um, I guess that they could be like porcelain. I know this one is like a porcelain as well game pieces and wooden objects as well so I think they're lovely and I do like I said I love the larger sizes as well I think they're going to work beautifully in journaling because you can put them on your pages on your blank pages or on your book pages over the top of your book pages as well will be lovely so pretty so there you go I hope you've enjoyed that tutorial using these lovely products from Tapeology. Thank you Tapeology for sending those to me. I've really enjoyed playing with them and I think they work really nice. So, you know, 
trial and error, of course, when you first do these things. If I had more glass things, I would try another glass one because I know that first one, you know, the little edge is a... Yeah, I took it off a little bit too soon. But all in all, I'm very, very happy. So thank you so much for watching and take care, everybody. Bye.